Hi everyone, it's Veronica again and today we'll be talking about networking and the importance of it. I think it can be a dreadful topic for some people, me including, and I wanted to share with you ideas on how you can network. Before I started my career, I imagined networking as going to an evening event with strangers where you get the badge with your name on it and you are forced to speak to people. So what's the point in networking? From the face of it, it might look like a load of professionals handing each other business cards and pretending to enjoy small talk with each other. But networking is a little bit like speed dating, but instead of looking for love, you're looking for leads. I want to explain to you how I have networked throughout my career so far. Internal events organized by my firm. I have attended multiple social events with my work, such as coronation celebrations organized on our rooftop, office yoga, well-being group therapy, or first Friday drinks at our local bar organized for our lead office. It's a great chance to break the ice with someone from a different team who you don't work with, from partners to other trainees, in a relaxed environment over a beer or Pepsi. This way I end up making friends and learning about what they do, giving me an insight into other financial careers. What does networking truly achieve for me? It's two things that networking achieves. One is it helps me support my clients better. So if my client comes to me as their trusted advisor with an issue, if I can't solve it, someone in my network hopefully can. And that really does add value to my customer service when I'm providing a service as an accountant. It also helps me build my own personal network to build a team that are rooting for me and for my career and my business and me personally. So if I have any issues in my business or if I have any issues in my personal life, I have a group of network who are there to support me and in some occasions are there to sell for me too. One person can only do so much and your network really is your net worth. We also have Audit Away Days, which is an opportunity to catch up with people from my team who I haven't seen for a while. A form of networking would be even going for a drink after work with my peers and it's a great way to make friends too. So who should we be networking with? Ideally, it's going to be people who have the same customer base as you. So as an accountant, it might be a solicitor, it might be a financial advisor as they work directly with business owners and we could share um, our client base amongst each other. But more importantly, network with people who are on the same level as you. Network with people who you would like to be friends with, people that you would have genuine connections with. Because if the connections are genuine, you'll realise that um, even if they might not have the same client base, whether they're down at the pub or they hear something passing in conversation, those connections will be far more useful to you and they will help you grow as a business and as a person. There are also events organised by ELCAS. ELCAS is a lead society for AC students and they organise two annual balls in Leeds as well as different socials throughout the year such as axe throwing, poker nights, etc. There are also events advertised by BDO. I have not had a chance to attend any of them, but I know that we get forwarded emails about networking events happening in Leeds, such as women in business, breakfast at Banyan, etc. As I've explained, networking can be as simple and enjoyable as attending any event that your work offers, even with people that you know. The world of accounting is very much a people's to people business. So for me, what that means is the finances side of a business and running the business is very close to the business owner's heart and they will only trust certain people to get involved and be that trusted advisor. So for me, building them connections at networking events is a perfect opportunity to, to reach the hearts of business owners, build their trust and then become their trusted advisor and help them grow their company. Do I use business cards and if so, where do I keep them? I don't use business cards. That is slightly unusual, but less unusual than it used to be. Instead of using business cards, what I do is I have a QR scanner on the desktop of my phone and that I get people to scan with their camera on their smartphone. It takes them directly to my LinkedIn profile. Once they're then connected to me on LinkedIn, they'll see my content. And every time I post, it's like I'm networking with them a little bit more. Do I network online? Yes, networking online is a great way of winning work and also gaining knowledge. I network with businesses in Facebook groups, on LinkedIn groups, but I also network with other accountants to learn best practice. So that might seem strange that you wanna network with other accountants, but in my opinion, there's enough room for everyone to win. My top tip for networking really would be be yourself and be authentic. I first started off as a youngster in the world of business and accounting and tried to be someone that I didn't you know, really truly believe I was. Being authentic and being myself really helps build the meaningful, truthful connections that will you know, last, last time and, and really add value to you, your career and the practice in which you work for. So if you're like me and you're not keen to go to the networking events by yourself, make sure you make the most out of the opportunities that are in front of you offered by your employer. I hope you found my tips helpful. See you again soon.